Hey, my name's James Nicholson, and in this video, I want to talk about are property investors bad? Now, you would think, if you look through the YouTube comments that I get over and over and over, that being a property investor means you are a bad person. Now, I want to respond to those people, the trolls and all of that sort of stuff, because I don't think that property investors are bad. And if you do, I want you to hear me out. Or if you're thinking of becoming a property investor, I think you should listen to this video as well. Now, my name is James Nicholson. I'm a property investor. I invest all over the UK in the South, the North, and soon to be investing in the Midlands as well. Now, I am gonna take you on a journey on this channel of behind the scenes of my property investing journey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we're also building a portfolio for my two daughters. We've got Georgia, who's 21. We've just bought our first house up in Doncaster. You can check that out on the channel, the renovation, the purchase, and getting that back on the market. So do do that way here. And my little baby, Amelie, who is just one. So how can you join us on this journey? Very easy, you take that finger of power right here, you spin it around, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. And while you're there, hit that like button as well. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So uh, sometimes, uh, actually, I started this video saying there's a lot of bad comments on this channel. To be fair, there are mostly positive comments. I would estimate that 10% of the comments are saying that property investors are bad. Okay, so why do people think that property investors are bad? Now, the belief is that money is bad, right? We hear people say things like the money, money is the root of all evil um, and that all of these kind of things. Now, I have been a business coach for a, a long time, and so I've worked with some very, very wealthy clients. And I'll tell you something. The fact is that money just amplifies who you are. So if you're a kind person and you get a lot of money, then you're going to be able to help more people and do a lot of good with that. And there are tons of very wealthy people that are very kind. If you are an arsehole, then you will be more of an arsehole right? And that's true in anything in life. But property, people see and believe that property investors are bad. And so the belief is that you're taking property that somebody else could potentially buy and live in. Now, in some areas, like London, for example, that could be true. I don't invest in London. And the reason for that it's not because of those reasons, it's because you really don't get a good return on your investment. Now, the houses are very high, you will get good capital gains, but the rents are low comparatively. And a lot of people are going to say rent is expensive in London. Of course, it's a capital city. So other areas that we invest in, we're not taking property from people. So the last deal that we've just done in Doncaster, which is Georgia's my, my eldest daughter, that's her first property, right? That's her first property. Now, that property has been on the market for years. It's been a vacant property for absolutely years. Now, no one wanted to buy that. It was on for a very affordable price. In that area, you would only need one times your salary to buy that property. You could be working in any job on minimum wage and be able to afford that two bedroom house. So me taking that property off the market didn't stop somebody buying it because it was two years that it was on the market. Now, the property was in very bad condition. It stunk. The <laughs> carpets were sticky. Uh, the bathroom was gr absolutely disgusting. Kitchen I don't know how anyone cooked anything in there. It was absolutely vile when I took that property on. And we spent our own money. We risked our own capital. We've refurbished that property and we put it back onto the market. And now a family are living there. The rent is very affordable. It's only £575 per month. And so we haven't pushed the rent up in that area. We've gone with the rent, the market rate on that rent. And in fact, the neighbours of that property are delighted 
that we've taken that property on because you see that being empty was a fire hazard a lot of properties up north they get arson attacks um, and either side the houses they're obviously worth less if there's a horrible house in the middle um, pulling the value on their property down and so hating on property investors is just because people don't have the full story now, why are prices going up? Because that's one thing that people are really annoyed with is the price is going up and people feel like they're priced out the market. Well, the reason their prices are going up is because there are not enough properties. Right now, we're looking at potentially having a dip in the market or a correction or a crash. I don't know. Who knows? That will happen. Hope Well, not hopefully. That will probably happen in the next few years. And that's because the interest rates might rise. People will uh, suffer, obviously, unfortunately, in a recession. And so people will be less willing to pay the value of the houses. And so people will have to offer them for less. So that means that prices can come down. It's the buyers that are pushing the price up. It's not the developers. And if there was more stock, so for example, in Dorking at the moment, there's around 50 houses on the market and the prices are rising slightly in Dorking still. Now, if there was suddenly a thousand houses because someone built a huge new estate uh, or someone built some flats, then these 50 houses would not be as attractive as other options out there in the market so people could offer less, right? Because they could say, well, I'm not buying yours because I'm gonna go and buy one that's over here that's slightly cheaper. And so how we can get prices more affordable in the UK is to embrace developers, embrace property investors, and encourage them and help them through legislation to build the properties that we need, right? That's very, very important. Now, also building new properties is also gonna help the environment for the reason that being that new properties will need to be to an energy performance certificate of level C, right? And so that means they will have better insulation, meaning they'll use less fuel, uh, they'll be built out of more sustainable materials. And all of this stuff is going to be good for the environment. And that is going to help also drive rents down. Now, I'm not looking for rents to go down significantly, but I said in the video two days ago now that I'm not massively keen on rents rising as fast as they have recently. And the reason for that is because if the rents rise too quickly, yeah, you might get a tenant that's desperate to take it off your hands, but eventually that will become unaffordable and you just won't get paid your rent. And so it would be better for rents to just rise slowly over time. How I like to make my money as an investor is to buy something that's unloved, that doesn't have that full potential. For example, uh, I bought a, a huge one bedroom flat, had a 45 foot living room. It was not needed. No one needs a 45 foot living room in a one bedroom flat. It just looked bizarre. And so we added another bedroom in there. And that's now rented out to a lovely family that have had a baby since they've moved in. And they're really, really happy with that property. And so there are also tons of people that just don't want to buy a house, right? And so investors are needed to make sure that there is somewhere to rent. And there was an article in The Guardian and The Daily Mail this week that said, if we keep pushing landlords out of the market, then there will be less properties to rent and rents will rise significantly in 2023, 24 and 25. Uh, and so that isn't what people want. And so all these people that hate property investors, they're saying that we're making the rents go up. But if you push landlords out the market, then there's going to be less supply and those rents are going to rise significantly. And that isn't good for anybody. So is property investing bad? No, you should do it in the right way. And you should look to find properties that need love, that they need some restoration and think about what you're doing for that area. Think about how you're helping people and making those beautiful family homes. That's it from me. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I'm sure the comments will be interesting on this one for sure. So do comment below. Do like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
and we're running a live event in London very, very soon. I'd love to invite you to that live event as my guest. You can get on the VIP waiting list for that event by just clicking in the description here and there's a little link. All you do is just fill in your name and email address and then as soon as the tickets go on sale, they will, uh, or they're not going to be sold, they're going to be released, uh, you'll be able to get your free ticket to that event. So do fill in your details right now and then get notified. There's no obligation putting your email in there, but once you've got it in there, you'll just know that you can get that ticket when it comes out. That's it from me, I'm James Nicholson. Do go and check out all my other videos on the channel, including this one right here.